Natural obligations. If you will recall class, going back to the definition of what an obligation is, it is a juridical necessity to give, to do, or not to do. And as I've mentioned before, the word juridical makes a civil obligation different from a natural obligation and a moral obligation. A civil obligation, in case of non-performance, you can go to court and demand for specific performance. But if it is a natural obligation or a moral obligation, the court has no right to acquire jurisdiction over it. Why? Because when you talk about natural obligation, it is based on equity, natural law. Can you imagine a judge rendering a decision based on natural law? <laughs> based on equity. So, usually, it has something to do with, originally, it was a civil obligation, okay? But because of some reasons, it ceases to be a civil obligation. And here, the obligor still voluntarily performed that obligation, which is not anymore a civil obligation. So, if later on, he realizes, Uy, teka muna, hindi ko na pala obligation yon legally. Pwede bang bawiin? Hindi na po because it becomes a natural obligation. Okay? Because what makes it binding now is the element of what? Voluntariness on the part of the obligor in performing the obligation, which is not anymore a civil obligation. Now, unfortunately, you have to memorize Articles 1424 to 1430 because these are concrete examples of what are natural obligations.